with one of our sweet sponsor teams, Children of the Swamp. We're in the practice section and we're just watching them tinker around, toy around with their robot, figure out what they're doing wrong, figure out what they can do right. The objective is to grab the boulders, which are really volleyballs it looks like, um, and shoot it into the castle basket. So we work on building the robot throughout build season. We also do a little bit of the design of the robot. And then when we're at competitions like this one, we usually work inside the pit and we fix the robot after our different matches and things like that. So how long have you been on our team? For three years now. Three years. Yeah. And what grade are you in? I am in 11th grade. Okay, and tell me a little bit about the engineering that you're interested in when you go to college. So I'm interested in going into either civil engineering or mechanical engineering, probably mechanical. So Nicole, tell me a little bit about what you do with the team here. I am the electrical sub-team leader, one of them. Um, so that's what I do during the build season. I wire the robot and I do the pneumatics, so that's like the air and all the pistons. And I also work on the robot and help out with any electrical problems that we have. And what kind of engineer do you want to go to school for? I want to be an electrical engineer. All right, Sui is here with Eagle Team Robotics Team. Um, I am here with Araya and Rasna. We are checking out what they're doing with their robot behind us. So I work on the pit crew and like helping design the systems of the robot. After every round, we come back, tighten up the belts, making sure our tires are full of a bunch of air and just kind of any small change that need to be done before our next round to get the robot out ready to go. And what's your favorite part about being a female on this robotics team? Honestly, so just being with some of my other friends, like I got my other friends who are coming, they're all females too, so it's been really great to kind of share my passion for this with them. And then getting to see all the new this, uh, opportunities for females in engineering by coming to these kind of events, it's just been really amazing. To be a SWE sponsored first team, you had to go through a diversity training. So I want to ask you all, what are, what are your thoughts on the diversity training? What did it teach you? How did it help the communication between the males and females on your teams? Um, I really like the diversity training because it got the conversation started. Um, I think it's really important that we talk about these sort of problems. Um, in order to take the first step to solve them. Well, welcome everybody to the fourth annual Women in STEM panel. We're going to have our lovely panelists introduce themselves, give us a little, a little um, idea of who they are and what their company does and where they're from. And then we're gonna take questions from you. Hi, my name's Kate Nolan. I'm a materials and process engineer at Boeing. Um, I actually live here in St. Louis. Um, I specifically work on finishes and corrosion for an airplane that's not even in production yet, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I'm also heavily involved in the Society of Women Engineers. Joining me now is Nancy Boyer. She is Director of Research and Evaluation at FIRST. Thanks for joining us, Nancy. Thank you. It's great to be here and have an opportunity to talk with you about FIRST and what we're learning about creating equity in STEM programs. And recently, we've looked closely at our diversity inclusion work. And what we're finding is that the underrepresented and underserved youth we are reaching through our diversity inclusion strategies are having significant outcomes in STEM, including increases in STEM interests, STEM skills, and STEM knowledge. Thank you, Nancy, for joining us. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.